Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at a refurbished Xbox One S from Amazon. Now, I've already taken a look at a PS4 from GameStop and a PS4 Pro from Best Buy. I'll link those videos in the description below. I'll actually put them in a playlist so you can take a look at them if you'd like. But today, let's take a look at this Xbox One S from Amazon. I'm gonna see if it looks like they've done anything at all to the console or if they just slapped a sticker on it and called it refurbished. I bought this Xbox One S 500 gigabyte from Amazon. Now Amazon calls them certified refurbished. I don't know what certified means for them. So we'll see if there's any sort of documentation inside the box to see if they explain that. But I have a feeling it's just a marketing term. I paid $232 for this. You can actually buy a brand new one terabyte Xbox One S with the Battlefield game for the exact same price as a certified refurbished. I'm only doing this for the video, but if you're looking for a refurbished, don't buy it from Amazon, just buy the brand new one. Let's take a look. Packaging looks really good. We do have a controller here and we do have some cables. They even include batteries for the controller. That's actually pretty impressive. So let's take a look at this controller first it's in like this Ziploc bag sort of thing. And let's look at it. Get you guys close up there. It looks like it's actually in pretty good shape. Battery compartment's nice and clean. Okay. Some sticks feel good. This looks really nice. It looks basically brand new. So the controller definitely looks good. So hopefully the rest of it looks good as well. Let's take a quick look at the cables. These cables also look brand new. That one does and the HDMI cable. Both look really nice. Now let's take a look at the console itself. So it does include the quick start guide. All right, so here we go with the console itself. Outside looks pretty nice so far. My table's all dirty, so that's getting dust all over it. We do have the warranty sticker, although it looks like you can see maybe it's been taken off. Let me get you zoomed in for this. So if you look right here, it looks like maybe it's been taken off. So maybe this one's been opened. I don't, I don't know for sure. All the ports look really good. So far, I really see no signs of use on this. I would hope since it's the exact same price as a brand new one terabyte. I would hope that there were no signs of use. Now I'm just gonna plug it in real quick, test everything, make sure it all works, and then we'll get to the good part. So let's see if it starts up. Good news. Fan comes on. There we go, good so far. Let's see if there's power in the controller. And it looks like those batteries are actually good. While it's starting up, let's test a disc. Yep, disk drive works normally. And it looks like we have a normally working Xbox so far. So this is all great news. So far it actually looks like we have pretty close to a brand new Xbox One S 500 gig, but the real test is to see what it looks like on the inside. And now it's time for my favorite part. Let's take it apart. Now to get this bottom cover off, my favorite way is with this freakishly long screwdriver. I kind of push down and in this way when I'm going. There we go, there we go. And there we go. Now we need to slide this little lip over this part right here. So I use a, just a flat uh, plastic pry tool. Just go right along here and 
push it over the lip right there. Then back to our freakishly long screwdriver. Now we need to disengage those clips down there. So put my screwdriver on it and just give it a little twist and that releases those clips. And now we have our first look inside. Let's take a look at the bottom case, see if there's any dust or anything. And there's none at all. This thing looks brand new. Now we're gonna remove every screw out of this metal casing. Then we'll remove the outside piece right here. Then we'll flip it over and take all the guts out. For this part, we'll need a security Torx T10. And for these four screws and the screws on this board and this board, we'll need a security T8. Now we'll remove the top cover from the case. And we'll take off this board and this board. Now with those two boards removed, we can get the top cover off and get all the fun stuff out. Okay, once again, we're looking for any signs of any use. And I don't see any at all. Power supply looks kind of funny, but no problems there. Now I'm gonna take the motherboard out and then we'll take this heat sink off and see if the thermal paste looks new or not. But first I wanna look inside the disk drive and see if it looks brand new like the rest of it. So we'll remove these connectors. Then this comes off. Then we just have four screws holding on this plate. And let's take a look inside the disk drive. And there we go. Now one of the best ways to tell how used one of these is, is to look at the roller down here. These will collect dirt and debris and hair over time. As you can see, this black roller down here is in pristine condition. I see absolutely no signs of use on this disk drive. Now let's get the motherboard out and see if there's fresh thermal paste on or if it's the old crusty thermal paste from the factory. And before I forget, don't forget I do have merch available. This shirt along with several other designs is available right in my merch store at tronicsfixstore.com along with we do still have some Nintendo Switches for sale and I custom made this PS4 toolkit to take apart PS4. So if you're interested in any of those, go to tronicsfixstore.com. Okay, now we just have to take the heat sink off. What do you think, new thermal paste or old crusty thermal paste? My vote is old crusty. And it looks like old crusty. Yep, for sure. So just so you can see what I mean. You can see it's just crusty and dry and ready for more new thermal paste. So we're gonna put some fresh thermal paste in this thing. This is a console I'm gonna keep. I just bought it for the video. So if you're interested in it, I'm not gonna sell it for like 50 bucks or anything, but I will sell it for a little cheaper than I got it for. So we're gonna get this all cleaned up, install fresh thermal paste, and then we'll get it back together. So overall, this Xbox One S certified refurbished console is actually in excellent condition. It looks brand new to me. So if it wasn't for the price, I would say this is an excellent buy, but Given the fact you can buy a brand new one terabyte with a game 
for the exact same price, I'm giving it a big thumbs down. I've put together a short playlist of my other refurbished product reviews you'll see on your screen now. So come hang out with me there if you want to see more, and I hope you have a good day.